Hello, this is Vance, and this is Tuesday, April the 11th, 2017. These are the CL trades for today using the slow hand method for price action. I got in a long right here. Uh, price came rotate. I was talking this morning just a few minutes ago about uh, you know resistance to this area. I've drawn in this support line. I think price has come down. I failed second entry short right here. And so I've got in long right near this bottom. I expect prices to come to retest this area. It's really at this previous high. So I've got in long with three contracts. First contract coming off here. Now, it, I've, I've drawn this line here to show a bit of a... Uh, uh, like a decline, but I don't know if it's, if it's really like that. It could be very a little bit higher like this, and as a result, this one might be uh, like so. I mean, as I've said, mentioned yesterday that trading in trading, nothing's 100% in trading. I'm looking at this tendency. I'm looking at maybe pr uh, buyers who take this price higher, and so I've got my low below where the previous low was, and I'm looking at uh, my first contracts coming off at plus 15 ticks, just above 53 at 53.10. Now, resistance at 53, anytime you get around the century numbers, you get that resistance. So I've got, I've, I expect that um, that really around 53, I might have some hesitation, you know, by, uh, sellers coming into the market, or this hesitation near that area. Um, and if buyers have to step in, they'll step in uh, stringently and then perhaps push prices higher. But as it looks like right now, I'm looking at this as a uh, as a support area right at uh, where, I, where I got in. I limited it at 52.95. Uh, I see this as an area and my my stop is down at 52.80. And my target is at 53.10 with subsequent targets, uh, other 15 ticks off, off of that. So I'm leaving this for the time being. See how the trend transpires over the next few bars. Okay, just moved my uh, stop to break even. Um, if it comes down and pulls me out, I think that this is uh, maybe just not right, quite ready to go. But uh, I've got it up uh, break even. Now I've got my stop at uh, 52.95. Okay, first contract's hit. And so that's the first contract off. Now, Resistance obviously is going to be around the 5310 mark, right around here where this top of this channel is. So let's call it 5310, 5311. My next target's at 5325. So we have to have extension and follow through from the top of this channel in order for the second contract to get hit. Now, whether or not I'm going to stay with it, we'll see how the next few bars paint up. If prices starts to turn around or starts to hesitate and looks like it's going to turn around, because if you look at it from this standpoint, this is a first entry pullback. It might be a second entry short, but it's a pretty tight channel. So if we're looking at it from the, well, a fairly tight range, we've had a break of this channel, if that's in fact what you call it, and we'll see how this resistance uh, stacks up right at this 5310 mark. If prices continue to go through, and remember, like earlier this morning, this is at uh, the uh, yesterday's high was at 5318. Uh, today's high is at 5323, and my target's at 5325. So obviously, we have to break the daily high in order for my second target to come off. Um, is that going to be an occurrence? Well, you don't don't know that for sure. I know that my target is in a, my stops in a good place. I had a decent entry to get my first targets off, and so I'm going to stay with this to see how it transpires uh, to the upside. But uh, it's worthwhile holding on to it, even just for the reason is that this may be a measured move. This was the move up here first pullback, second pullback, and it's almost at that level. So it's almost worthwhile. It's worthwhile staying with this trade because it appears that uh, there may be enough momentum carried higher. I don't know that, but uh, I'm going to stay with it. But and then again, um, this area here, this top area is, is going to be one of resistance really at this 5310, let's call it 5310 to 5320 area. Um, so, uh, Let's leave it the way it is. If the ES opens higher, uh, we might pull up to the uh, this area and we'll take a look at uh, uh, if equities are higher, there's an element that will pull up uh, oil prices to that area. Again, just leave it the way it is. Okay, we had resistance right at that 53 level, well, 53.10. Um, price turned back down and uh, so now we're out and uh, we're flat. So we only got the one contract off, uh, didn't have breakthrough at this point in time. So we'll just reset and take a look for another trade. In the meantime, this is Vance. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Hello, this is Vance. This is Tuesday, 
April the 11th, 2017. And these are CL trades for today. Demonstration trade right here. We had this big run up, rough about 12 o'clock, uh, somewhere in the neighborhood 1210. <clears throat> Real bust up here as far as pricing is concerned on the oil market. Pulls back, looking for another leg up. Maybe not quite as high, but uh, certainly I think there's still buyers that are resident in this market. So we had this move up here, we have this pullback, and I'm looking for another move up to almost the same magnitude, but we'll have to see. But, uh, you know, on this trade, I like the entry. You know, it's right here. It's uh, uh, near the bottom of this channel. Of course, we've got, uh, looks like there's kind of support in this area, somewhere in the neighborhood of 53, uh, uh, 5318 area. And, uh, you know, right, even if I'm at 5311, I think that price is going to be moving a pair. So I'm going to leave it away, see how it works out. We're in the last uh, 45 minutes to the close at 2.30 Eastern Standard Time. It's really about... 147 right now, still hanging. Maybe we'll get a, the push to complete these targets within the next uh, few minutes, at least uh, prior to the close. So just waiting for it right now. Well, I moved this trade up to break even. I know it's not right at the 10 ticks, but I've been in this trade for 57 minutes now. And uh, it's only 12 minutes to the close, which is 2.30. If it doesn't bust up there and hit hit my target at 53.39. I don't think it's going to do it for today, um, but uh, that's why I moved it to break even. You know, when it gets close to that, this has got to push up right now, and that's uh, the way I look at it at this point in time. So it's because I've been in this trade. It's like a time stop. It's been in it for almost an hour, and if it's not moving up, it's not. Gonna, I don't think it's going to go uh, prior to the uh, at 2:30. But now I'm at break even, and so if it doesn't make it to uh, my tar first target anyway, it'll be a a, a BE trade. Now, <clears throat> if it does get there close within the next few minutes. Um, and, and then it looks like it's stalling because it has to break the, the daily high in order to get to my target. Uh, probably close it out. I'll pull down this other uh, contract to take two at 15 ticks and then just leave the runner up there. But uh, wait and see. Okay, <clears throat> got the first contract. It's only two minutes, so uh, I'm going to leave it actually because it looks like it's... Uh, I've only got two minutes to the close right now. been in this trade for an hour and eight minutes. 2.29 right now. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, it might... It might bust up here for to this to in the last minute or so if not i'm going to pull it down i'm going to take it at 15 i'll just leave the other one run okay i took the uh just took it right now it's uh 229.52 and it's like three o'clock right or 2:30 as of right now so uh it's going to be after the close i'll bring this down a little bit and bring this down to uh probably 54 in the aftermarket, the next half hour, we might be able to, prices may move up to this 53, 54 area um, over the next, uh, uh, let's say, let's half an hour or so. So I'll just leave that as the runner. So I took two contracts at about 15 ticks, and uh, that's it. It was in this trade for over an hour and 10 minutes. <laughs> so we'll just wait to see how that goes. I'll leave it for the time being. Okay, I'm taking this contract right now. <clears throat> Okay, reason I took it is because you know price is coming down. It's a long. It might come down. It's just gonna. It's just too long. So um, it's quarter to three. I don't think it's gonna make its way back up here. So might as well just take it early. And that's it. So I took two contracts out of plus fifteen ticks. You can see that they hit the resistance near the top of this channel. This was a push up just before the close, and then price rotated back down. So and that's pretty pretty much it for the day. Obviously, the trade of the day was this move right up here, which I'll talk about later. But uh, this is Vance. Bye for now.